Hi, I'm Bob Holcomb from Apex Automotive in Great Barrington, Massachusetts. Today we're going to test our hydraulic braking system. The first step is to get into the car and see what the brakes feel like. If the brake pedal goes all the way to the floor, we're not going to be test driving this vehicle. But if you get in the vehicle and you push on the brake pedal and it appears to have integrity, it'd be a good idea to take it for a test drive to see what's going on with these brakes. During our test drive, we're going to feel and listen for any pulsating, any scraping or grinding noises, and the overall integrity of the brakes as to how they stop the car. One of the tests I like to do is to put the car on a slight hill. I'll put the car in neutral and I'll apply the brake just enough to stop the vehicle. And I'll hold my foot in that one position. If the hydraulic system has a failure, let's say the master cylinder has a leak, the fluid will leak by the piston rings and your car will begin to roll down the hill. That means that your hydraulic system is leaking. So now that we've done our test drive on our hydraulic braking system, we're going to take a look at the mechanicals. This device here is your master cylinder. Inside the master cylinder reservoir is the brake fluid. We'll get a good idea of the integrity of the system by looking at the brake fluid, make sure that it's full and that it has good consistency and is nice and clean. If you see a problem, such as very dirty brake fluid, or empty, we know we got a problem, we have to look further. So now that we've made a basic assessment of our hydraulic brake system from the top, we're going to go underneath and look at the wheels themselves where the brakes actually function. Another test to test the hydraulic braking system is to see if the brake calipers are free or stuck on. When I spin the brake rotor, it should spin fairly easily. There should be no resistance in the braking system. This wheel has no resistance in the braking system, and that's good. If this brake rotor was not to turn easily or to have some resistance in the braking mechanism, chances are that brake is stuck on, and I'll have to take that apart to see what's going on. Since I can turn this easily, I know that our mechanism is not stuck. Another test that we do is to look at the brake lines. I can see that this brake line has some cracking on the rubber hose. This hose will need to be replaced. One of the things that can happen is this hose can deteriorate from the inside and it can cause our brake rotor to be held on. If this brake hose let fluid go this way but not back out of the caliper, your brake would be stuck on. This happens quite often with these hoses. So these are a couple of quick tests on how to test your hydraulic braking system. I'm Bob Holcomb from Apex Automotive in Great Barrington, Massachusetts.